Hello and welcome back to Nati Unleashed. I am Shivang, your host, and today we are joined by Mr. Gopi Krishnan, sir, the operations manager at Nati Skill Center. I welcome you, sir, and I request you to introduce yourself to our viewers. Yes, I am uh, Gopi, and uh, I have been working with uh, Unnati last uh, more than ten years. I started the journey with Unnati in 2014 uh, as a central manager in Bangalore Center. Then I moved into the placement uh, manager as placement in 2016, and uh, I have been continuing with that. Now I am in part of the operations team, uh, looking after the uh, centers remotely, based out of Bangalore, and uh, that is the day-to-day -day affairs. Look, talking to the center, helping them, and the, and the point of contact for the entire centers other than Bangalore Center. Thank you, sir, for giving your introduction to our viewers. So, sir, I have a few questions for you. Should we dive into it? Please, please. So, sir, how many centers is Unnati is operating today? At the moment, we have 31 centers uh, directly under Unnati, and we have associated with another organization called Ra Foundation. We have another 16 centers that Totally, you can put it as a 47 centers we are running at the moment. That's great, sir. So, sir, can you describe how centers looks like? Yeah, our center is, uh, it's it's not like the Bangalore center, of course, because we have a capacity built it only for 30 at a batch. Mm -hmm. And we have four people uh, as a staff there. We have three chain makers. And one should be certainly no tally and computer. And another one is a mobilizer. Three plus one is our strength of the center. And all the infrastructure is built in for training 30 youth per batch. So we have uh, 25, 30 computers and we have a room and staff is there, a staff room. This is the, it looks like that. And all facilities are, it's all connected uh, throughout, uh, you know, because we can have a, a remote, uh, we have all cameras there, we can view it. And we have a, uh, interactive sessions, everything, high speed internet is there. So any moment, any time, if you want to talk to the youth or the change makers, it is, everything is perfect. We can do it. It's nice, sir. Yeah, sir. Uh, what is the involvement of head office in the day-to-day -day functioning? Day yes, office? of course, it is. Uh, it is. It has been because it has been all the things. Many of the things have been centralized mm -hmm. in Bangalore, like you know, counseling is from mm -hmm. Bangalore, and the placement is from Bangalore, and we monitor the parents meet, which is happening there. It's all remotely monitored by an office, which have, especially the operation team. We do daily monitoring of them we uh, not necessarily we are to policing them but you know we just monitor them and hold them if everything is perfectly happening in that center and if the youth are getting the best from yeah. our change makers that's the thing because unnati's focus is mainly on the youth and youth has to get the best and it is called as a uh, a miniature iim for the underprivileged youth that's so nice. that sort of a facility we are giving them so a lot of involvement from every daily basis involvement from from all of us in the operation team as well as counselors and other people so sir, Unati is taking a great initiative for youth that's yes. a very great thing sir so thank you sir for thank giving you. your valuable time to us and our viewers it was an insightful talk with you sir thank, thank you, you. Very, thank you very much for giving this opportunity i would be proud to say this to uh, about Unnati. I'm very happy. <laughs> thank you. And thank you viewers to tuning into Unnati's podcast. Stay tuned for future episodes. Until next, take care and keep striving for positive changes.